find a track that Shazam detects wrong. If you can find one. Sam and the Fisher just use cruise control. Like, drive to this speed now, set it into cruise control and take your foot off the uh, pedals. Give your leg a rest. That's what cruise control's for. Most of your driving, you can get away with cruise control. I don't think there's a V8 on the MP3, I'm not sure. But we've got the 512 engine, I think. Any thoughts on the upcoming game truck driver for those of us on console? I, I, I can't really give you a, a proper opinion because I've not tried it for ages. Because I basically installed it jumped in for a few minutes, looked around and uninstalled it. But, you know, hands up, I haven't tried it in the last eight months, so I don't really know what it's like anymore. But, if you're expecting Euro Truck, I think you'll be a bit disappointed. The MP3 is, to drive, it's like huge amounts of torque, like pulling power is fantastic on it. Handling's okay. My main thing is that it's very twitchy. So what I mean, like little bits of steering wheel and it sort of moves very, very quickly. But it's a decent enough truck to drive. And when you cover it in green lights, it looks awesome. Okay, okay. That bend, honestly, the speed limit and that bend are not compatible in any way, shape or form. Earlier on, I could feel the truck going, but on that bend, it just got sharper, and that was it. We were done. Damage on the truck is 22%, and the goods are damaged as well. Yay! <laughs> Oof. It's good that your seatbelt's on. Lead. There goes the bonus. And the engine's going to be a real pain now. It'll buff out. Using whatever sound it comes with. It was necessary for your billion dollar trucking empire, I know, right? How are we going to pay for this? It's the XP more than the money. Left turn 
time ahead. To be fair, I do have the stability turned down, which is one big factor. Turn like, if you put the sliders all the way up, you'll have you'd have gone around that corner, no problem. No, that's true, bandits. And there goes the engine. Oh boy. This thing is so unstable. I don't think they should, like, if you damage your engine, I don't think they should simulate the consequences by just, like, cutting the engine out. I think it would be better if they, like, reduce the power, or, like, you couldn't get as much pulling power out of it, it didn't accelerate as quickly, it didn't get top enough speed, it occasionally misses a gear when you go into gear, like, stuff like that would be better than just, oh, the engine's dead. <laughs> Well, the problem with it leaking oil is, like, you don't get to fill the oil in this game, so if it leaks oil, how are you supposed to refill it again? And given given how seldom you find a mechanic, you're going to have a bit of a problem with that. No, we've got plenty of fuel. It must have taken a long time to build these kind of tunnels right through mountains. morning trucking level look at it on, look at it on the sat nav just like a piece of string thrown on the floor fuse though. It's a pretzel. It does look a bit like a pretzel. Uh oh, it's raining. First time it's rained this evening. I had a pretzel when I was at the, uh, what was I? Orlando. When I was flying from Orlando up to Boston, I got a pretzel at Orlando Airport. That was a nice pretzel. I think it was cinnamon.
SF Giants, thank you for a thousand biddies. Welcome back. I'm just leaving the airplane. It was uh, nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you too, sir. Thank you for the gift. Or gifts. I have shown them on screen. Have a safe trip back. You watched Carlton Ross the other day? Lol. <laughs> it's like tracking the music, this. Yay! Finally. Where do I go for map add-ons for ATS, like ets 2 s Pro mode? Is there anywhere I can go but for ATS? Um, STS forums has a, a, like a forum for ATS and a forum for ets 2 and they all have stuff in there. That's not all of them though, because some authors don't publish to the forum. Um, but a lot, a lot publish to the forum. But other than that, you can just take your pick from the various mod websites. None of which I'm recommending. Because if I recommend one, the others start to go. Mm -hmm. Canada soon. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see. I reckon it'll be twenty twenty. I don't think it'll be twenty one. You never know, you might have a surprise before Christmas or something. It depends how much how much they'll put into the first release really. Those crazy Norwegians. Take the exit. Yay. Well, I wasn't really thinking that at the start. I was thinking about how much content. Like, the quality will be promote's quality, it's just a matter of how much they release. Uh, Trucker Dylan, thank you very much for the host, sir, and the raid. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much for, uh, for raiding the stream, Trucker Dylan. Hope you're well. What's that emo? 1M is that? Is that a million? And that looks a bit like a Scania. He's an IRL trucker driver. Nice. Oh, one month sub got you. Makes sense. I'm wondering if you drive a tr uh, Scania then, Trucker Dylan. Because that seems to be emote. Unless I'm wrong. Oh my life. This engine. To the house. You 
do sometimes. Fair enough. So, do you stream your truck driving or stream your truck? Go around the roundabout, second exit. Uh, Oliver Merry, thank you for subbing. Second. Welcome to the house, Oliver. IRL trucking. Cool. Take the exit. How do you, um, how does your signal kind of strength work out? Like, if you're driving across the country using, like, 4G, does it, does it hold up? Or do you just stream when you pull in to a services and just, um, chat then? Just disconnect sometimes. I thought it'd happen a lot, but I've not actually tried it. I've not tried streaming whilst driving. Streams the whole day, blimey. Dutch 4G is good, fair enough. He was live for 12 and a half hours. Flipping heck, bro. Are you going to sleep in the truck or are you like, um, I don't know what kind of holds you do. You're like a day trucker. All day trucking puts Sunday night trucking to shame. I don't think you can compare the two things, can you? Sunday night trucking, there's a clue in the name. You're going home now. Blimey, that's a long day, bro. This is in no if you go like east to west, mid Norway, this is the tunnel system. It's right through the mountains. Yes, Transport Fever 2 is definitely on the radar. I hope it is the, the game that Transport Fever didn't quite kind of, or wasn't quite the game that, I kind of phrase this. Transport Fever should have been better in a lot of ways, and I hope Transport Fever 2 basically does that. Nope, the rain wipers are not sensitive. Disappointing. Don't know anything about Infinity Truckers, I've heard of them, but I don't know anything about, about the whole thing, to be honest. So I have no opinion. Thanks. Go around 
the roundabout, first exit. Take the exit. All the add-ons are in mods.squirrel.tv. Or, as I found out today, if you go to Google and put squirrel squirrels game mods, it takes you straight there. <laughs> It's a fuel. What we need is a fuel station. I think we're in the town, so there should be a fuel station in this town somewhere. At least it stopped raining. Straight on. Do you know what annoys me as well? Is when there's a malfunction on... Like, if you damage your truck, you're no longer allowed to press I and use this screen. Which is just annoying. So now I can't see what my fuel level is on the digital display. I can only see it on my analog dial. I can't flick through the different screens. It just locks it onto that screen. Now, if we do this, we're not burning any fuel. <laughs> Nor do I have any power steering. Keep right. Then take the exit right. Let's have a look. There's one. We could even get a cheeky repair done. Keep right. Then take the exit right. Right turn ahead. right then go straight on go straight on you're just hoping to right run out of fuel ahead. of course you was right I need to work out how we get the mechanic from Turn here right The fuel station's actually my garage. <laughs> Interesting. Because we own a large garage, I think. Discount on fuel. Is it cheaper when you use your own garage, Chris? Never actually spotted the difference.
It's a lot cheaper in some countries. Do you know, I've never actually noticed that. You should be able to repair your truck in a garage this size. You should have your own mechanic. Get discount and repairs as well. Turn right. Turn left. Rip. The heck? It's miles away? Mighty Benno, thank you for subbing, dude. Welcome to the night house. Turn oh, left. No, I missed it. Dang it. No, don't you come back. That's it, you stay there, pal. First time the AI has done anything smart. Okay, we'll do it that way. I don't even know if I can afford this. 15, 16 grand, that'll do. And they didn't even turn the engine off. noise you hear that it's like another Turn engine right. sound Turn right. Straight on. Sounds like an air compressor. Does a bit. Sound bug is long in this game. Is it always in that particular place? What is that fire engine doing? We could be here sometime. You look outside and get back, it spawns a sound source and sometimes forgets to delete it. Huh. I don't know what this fire engine's doing. But he seems to be giving way to everybody. Doesn't make any difference. Oh, I was hoping he was going to get slapped then. I was hoping that coach was going to smack him. Yay for perfect timing. Hello. Let me help you back to the junction. Thank you. Turn right. I don't think that fire engine's ever gonna move. Naughty Jim, thank you for 18 months. Love the content. Thank you for the great work. Thank you for your support, Naughty Jim.
Scania 46 here today. He was here at the start of the stream dropping loads of subs. I think he gifted five, then five, then ten. Um, something like that. And then somebody else dropped 20 or 25. It was a bit crazy at the start. Straight on. Yeah, it did get crazy. You got a sub if you want to say thanks. You might have to thank him in the next stream. Look, there's not even a ship here. Definitely want to go to Torch Farm. Uh, we're going to do this delivery and then I'll be stopping Top Gear. You've had some bonus time. I like how the sat nav tells me to reverse. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do we take the ferry from here? Or do we take the ferry from another? Hmm. I need to turn around. Apparently we're going to take the same ship. This is so dumb. The same ship is going to take us to the destination, so why didn't the game just leave us on board and take us to the destination? Why do we have to, like, choose again? It's weird. Rob Jensen, sir. Thank you very much for the host. Mr. Rubku. Welcome, guys, as ever. Maybe they wanted to clean the decks. Maybe. Go back here now. Yeah, so they can charge you twice. Sounds about right. Uh, I think that was the destination. Did you have the stream last Thursday? Still need to watch about half. Blimey. <laughs> yeah, it was Iceland, wasn't it? I don't know, I'm not driven in Iceland for a bit. This is another one of those countries I'd like to come to at some point. Although it's pretty expensive. Where's the wheel cam? It's here by my cup of tea. It has a HDMI cable snapped off inside of it, which I now need to extract and then replace Let's the cable. Because accidents. <laughs> turn left. I managed to knock the cable with my chair and it basically snapped the cable off. Yeah, I need to get a pro HDMI cable. That would never have happened with a pro cable. Only on an amateur cable. I wouldn't class that as a happy mistake, Bigfoot, if I'm honest. Happy little accident.
how much is a GoPro? Uh, that was a Hero 5. I don't think you can buy a Hero 5 now. That one's only a Hero 4, that one. This, uh, this floor's a bit slippier. Floor it, I want to go fast. <laughs> I think you should watch a iRacing stream instead, or a Forza one or something. Yeah, you get weird friction on this part of Iceland in this game. It's so it's so odd. It's basically it's slippery and the friction increases like it gets bogged down so it doesn't drive properly. I don't have 720 HP. I have 510. Yeah, it's basically like slush. more like it. Left turn ahead. You and Slush don't go well together. I like I like Slush as long as it's like a raspberry turn flavor left. one. What I want to know is, why is it called a slush puppy? Like, what did it have to do with puppies? I can understand the slush bit, but why was a slush puppy called a slush puppy? Yeah, the blue one's nice. Left turn ahead. Although you get, I don't know about you, but I get brain freeze if I drink it too quickly. Turn left. Everyone does. Everyone is affected differently. Like, my version of brain freeze is, is my throat just feels like it's... I don't get it in my head so much. My friend used to get it in his head. He'd get, like, headaches, but I get it in my throat. The red one's made from puppy blood. Oh my god. Get it in your back. I think you're drinking it wrong. <laughs> yeah, whenever I uh, drink a slush puppy too quickly, my foot starts hurting. <laughs> really? Yeah, I get foot freeze. It's weird. Are you sure you're not just putting your foot in the drink? No, no, I'm definitely drinking it. 
But I get foot freeze. <laughs> it's like your back freeze up. That is so weird, man. How dare you be normal, floating fat man? Left turn ahead. Turn left. Yeah, almost there, just past the Lego houses. Saber, thank you for 27. Oh, it was a ferry or oh, tugboat. Get penalised. Yes, I'm going to Scotland in the morning. 2.3%, 117 XP. It's about 10% loss. That's not too bad. I can deal with 10%. And that brings us to the end of another Sunday night trucking. I apologise, I had no wheel cam. Uh, I have to get this. To, I have to fix this thing. Got to yank that bit of metal out. So we should have a wheel cam next week. Uh, also, apologise for not streaming last couple of days because I've been at um, insomnia in the NEC. But next week should be back to normal schedule. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any videos to go because my recording days are now shot at this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to be in Scotland. So I'm heading off in the morning and I won't be able to record videos. So uh, it should be back to normal stream next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I hope you can join then. I hope you had fun and I hope you have a great week. I'll, uh, I'll try and check out some pictures while I'm up there on Instagram. <laughs> try and check out some pics from Scotland. It's going to be a long drive. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun, guys. Thank you for all the support as ever. And uh, I shall see you all in a few days' time. I hope you all have a terrific week. I'm sure you will. And the fun will carry on next week. Mighty Luke, thanks for the stream. Hope you have a safe journey. Thank you, dude. Fun in Scotty land. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here, guys, because I've got to go and pack and stuff for tomorrow for a long journey. I'll probably finish the Hobbit book by the time I get there. <laughs> I think I'm on chapter six now. He's not got to small get though. 
There's loads of stuff in the book that's not in the film. It's crazy. I haven't watched the film and watching the book, reading the book again. There's loads of stuff that's not in the film. Triple check. Oh, dude. Don't. <laughs> All right. I'm out of here, guys. Have a good week. And uh, I shall see you all in a few days' time. Take these guys. Love you all. Good night. <laughs>